Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Weapons of H3VR. Today we are taking a look at this thing, the M1928 Thompson. And uh, right there, I also got the, the M1A1 Thompson to compare. So uh, of course I recommend you check out my video on the M1A1 Thompson. This is the Thompson that the gangsters used and uh, there are some uh, differences. But they are mostly the same. I go through the history, the the gun with the M1A1. But this gun, it uses the, it, I'm doing double quote, air quotes, the Blish principle. I think it's called, which just bullshit. It's just a straight blowback submachine gun in a 20 or a 45 ACP. So uh, yeah, used by the U.S. Army. This one is the 1928 model, the M1928. Um, in game, we have uh, two magazines. We have 100 round and 50 round. Let's see. I'm not sure if it also takes the M1A1 Thompson mag. It does. It also takes the Thompson mag. Cool. The M1A1 also takes these two mags. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case in real life. Don't quote me on that. It's an uh, open bolt weapon. This one looks open even on an uh, empty... Uh, or uh, no magazine inserted. This one does as well, I guess. However, I believe when it's empty, it does not lock open. I'm not sure. Yeah, when this is empty, it does not lock open. I guess. Hmm, weird. It does lock open if I pull it back manually, and if I pull the trigger, it does not fall. This one should lock open on empty, however. It does not. Then I guess it doesn't. I am confused. Uh, they don't lock open on empty. Let's just stick with that for now. Both of them. But uh, this one is obviously a simplification. Stop fondling with the weapons. Don't fall down. So the M1A1, not the topic of today's video, is a simplification. So, let's go to the differences. First off, obvious one. Let's uh, place them side by side, let's throw you away. Let's place you like so, let's angle this up a bit. We'll place both of them down, just so that we get a good view on both of them. First of all, this has a uh, vertical front grip, nice feature. You also have an inbuilt compensator on the 1928, which the... Uh, M1A1 does not have, as you can see. Size-wise, they are pretty similar. This one, due to the compensator, is a bit longer. We can also see bolt handle on the top. This one has a bolt handle on the right, which uh, I prefer this, and uh, we'll get to part of that reason why. Butt sock similar, trigger group, uh, and uh, pistol grip, the same. So uh, what other? Oh. And of course, this one has these uh, metal thingies to help cool the barrel, which uh, the, this one uh, got rid of. So this is a simpler weapon, although still expensive to produce. Now let's get to the next bit, the sides. I believe they were different. We have a... Uh... A um, peep side and a little notch up top. And for this one, we only have a little notch, and we and this bolt handle has a little notch in it so that you can see through. This bolt handle does not have that. So uh, this the side on this gun is uh, worse, and of course you can see this has this uh, triangular uh, side protector. This one has rhombus, I think they're called. Can't adjust it for the model in game at least. But uh, yeah, th th that's the differences of the weapons. So uh, this one came first, of course. 100 round mag. I guess we should just shoot it. Very quick, just comparison of the two. I've already done a video on the Thompson. I recommend you check that out. It's uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere in the playlist. Check it out. Have fun. But now let's shoot this. That's safe. It's semi and full auto as well. So let's do some shots semi. It is a pretty controllable gun. With decent rate of fire. And 
and 100 round mag, what can I say? It's a lot of fun. I don't like this one though, compared compared to the M1A1. Let's get rid of the mag. I prefer the M1A1. And uh, there's uh, two reasons why really. And they all in a sense come down to the sides. First of all, I love peep sights. And the fact that this has a peep sight, it's a win. The notch on top for uh, further shooting is also nice. The sights on this is better than the sights on this. I, I don't like the sights on the 1928. And that also comes down to the bolt handle. I don't like the bolt handle being in the sight picture. It kind of obstructs the view a bit. I'm not a fan of it. It's not a big deal, but in the end, classic 9M1A1, the nicer Thompson. Yeah, the, this was, however, still front grip. It's nice. Compensator doesn't hurt. So uh, th they're still uh, nice weapons in my opinion. And of course, the guys to choose this one. Drive by shooting, baby. You probably couldn't hear me talk, but drive by shooting. So uh, I think that uh, concludes our video on the M1928 Thompson. It's basically just another one of these, but different. Same, but different. So I hope you all enjoyed watching, please leave a like, subscribe and all of that, be sure to vote for the next gun you want to see in the poll in the description below, and uh, I'll see you guys next week, bye!